Well, Paul, there are just two reasons left in our Summer Farewell Show this week. That's right, the first of them will feature last year's runner up Sarah Grammarie, who has yet to get a win as a matter of fact, as she takes on Olivia Fortin, last year's fourth place participant, and Nina Helms. Olivia Fortin did pretty well in the last couple of races. Let's see if she can do it again this week. Best of luck to the three divas and please start the best. Here we go. And it looks like a couple of super chow are going to rest. And it looks like Sarah Grandma is going to rest. That means Olivia Fortin and Nina Howells will have control of the opening edge as they make their wings on the palm trees. <coughs> Olivia and Nina are shaking the palm trees like crazy. And now they're going to eat the fruit. And they're both dancing to the beat. That means number six will have full control of the lead up in the front. And Sarah Grandma is going to join the other two in a hurry. She is going to join Olivia and Nina in a battle for second place at the kind of moment. And who will get the opening toss of this race? We're about to find right now. It's number seven who gets the opening toss. Trying to leave the young super chow in the dust. And there goes Olivia Fortin with all his flying ability. Or her flying ability as a matter of fact. She now leads over number six at the time one. And number six is the last, but she should still have a dominating effort over the five seven chow as Beavis number two this race when you made by last year's runner up, Sarah Grimberry. Trying to get her first win. I highly doubt she'll get any wins this season. Not at all this week. And right now Olivia Fortin need a home on portion of the top five portion of the course. As the next speedbus we made by, number 7, that makes his best second speedbus of the race, as he passed the 1 minute mark of this race, and right now numbers 1 and 2 are getting left behind in the competition. They don't want to get left behind for sure, but which one man will get the next command speedbus? It is going to be number, then number 2 who gets it, so now he will be number 1 in Den Meat. Meanwhile, Olivia and Nina continue the battle. Oh, this should be an exciting one to remember. We'll soon know which one of them will come up on top when they get to the finish line. It's going to be an exciting one indeed. Back to number two. And now he gains a little more of a more Sarah Grandberry. And right now, number one still really needs help. He's going to need a couple of speedruns. He really needs a couple of speedruns, but let's head back to number two again. And now he leaves Sarah Grandberry in the dust, continuing, continuing his domination out of over four place. And Nina Helms is the rest. That means Olivia Fortin will have full control of the lead. As Nina Helms wakes up first now and takes the next command to us. Let's see if Olivia Fortin can hold on Nina Helms for the victory. And Sarah Gwen is going to allow numbers one and eight. So these two free jobs are going to be left behind on the competition. And who will get the next command to us? It's going to be number seven. That makes his first speed bus to the base. Trying to lead the other to the challenge of us. And it looks like Olivia Fortin has this race all wrapped up. Nina Hollis will have enough power to catch up to her in time. Olivia Fortin holds on Nina Hollis by a short distance. She gets another win towards fulfilling her 2018 title chances. As number 8 will have the next command speed bus trying that's way to catch up in the crowd. And we have just enough time for one more speed bus of this race. And it will be made by number 1 who is in dead meat for sure. Anyway, Olivia Fortin got the win. That's right, she takes another step towards fulfilling her redemption. And we're not done yet, we'll present the final race of our Summer Farewell Show this week, after we hear a word from this.